the far off place. More. Where great form will come. For you, it's going to feel fake. For us, it's going to feel like, wow. I will find my way. CFA Symposium is a day where we pull our musical theater students and our theater students out of their academic classes and they stay here on campus like a field trip of sorts where they get to take four classes and hear a keynote speech during the day. They're working with professionals in the Richmond area, actors, dancers, uh, behind the scenes artists, giving the students an opportunity to learn the tricks in the trade of the stage and uh, the behind the stage. Working with Ms. Winkler, very high energy, lots of jumps, lots of zipping and running and back and forth to different positions, One, stuff I'm not two, used to doing. Three and four, five and six, seven, turn eight. There wasn't and really any time to like five, just sit six, there and kind of like eight, think about it, but I think that was a lot more helpful that I could just do it. So Newsies is, is definitely one of those musicals that's known for having a very aggressive choreography. So we did a whole lot of that. Like my clothes were absolutely drenched by the time I left that place. But it was super fun. Seven, turn over your right shoulder. Eight, take the double. Oh, it's a double. 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 So one, two, seven. Learning dance combos is just something that is so entertaining and so fun to do. And I think it really helps you learn how to use your body uh, when you perform and get get into your body when you dance. Um, I actually started getting paid for making things when I was about your age. Here. I really enjoyed makeup. This was like my favorite one. There are several different levels of burns and what that means to the, the skin. I've personally always wanted to know how to do bruises and like scars and stuff and that's what we actually got to learn. The bruises that we did looked very real because I was looking at other people I was like it really looked like you got beat up or hit <laughs> by something and the scars were really fun. Can you see the slight redness? It was a putty that we used and it was a gummy um, thing that you would put on and then you put the wax on it then you put the slit in it I was like Wow, but then it looks so real, like something so fake can just look so real. I did acting the song with Doug Schneider. So basically it's to get in touch with the emotion and the message of the song. It's what you say and the way in which you say it that literally makes everybody go, oh. and that's what to me is acting. He didn't do too much like vocal technique work, but he did a lot of acting work, which I think is super important. Th that movement when you, when you said, hey, leave it out there, and then you don't have to stay. And it's really like, the, the wait a minute, it's, it's not really like, like, it's like, hey, you know, blah, 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 blah. You don't know just So you have to really communicate the words of a song in order for it to have the overall impact that you want it to. So I'm just going to make sure that it's loose. And wherever she put her black marks, I'm just going to go over it like that. So we are doing Shrek the Musical this year at our school and Prop It Up it essentially is like us, like all the CFA students coming together, like helping out to create the props and paint the set pieces and all the different stuff for the show. This is 30. my first one. Well, you're doing it, you're doing it. We made some leaves and like they made pitchforks. Thank you. <laughs> I've been working hard. And we paper mache a tree. Like I'm in it, and like I'm so excited to like make things for it and like also be in the show. You're only doing one corner, go down the edge, do 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 do, do and then fade it off until it fades out. Yeah. It's Michael Jones, and he is amazing. Like how he can just come up with like a design for the sets that he wants, and then like he just makes it happen. And, and square and look. Okay, and Shy is coming in. The minute Shy enters the room, you're both shy. <laughs> 
<laughs> My first class was improv and it was taught by um, Boomy Peterson, very well known theater person around the area. Improv is just like, to me, is like anything and everything, and you just get to kind of do whatever you want and explore, and I had a lot of fun with that. All right, we're ready to go. Who's going first? It helps me in the fact that I can think better and quicker on my feet. Can you teach me how to swim? Can you tell me the water's cold? And it also is like a good skill to have because if you forget a line on stage or your scene partner forgets a line on stage, you have to like come up with something because you know the show must go on. Doesn't that say candy store? Who do you think you sound like? Ooh. Part of knowing how to choose a song is going, my voice can do this. New this year, we had Jason Marks come in. And Jason is known in this uh, community for writing his own musicals and then taking it up to even off-Broadway. So we brought him in and he did a day-long workshop. So the students that were with him were with him for most of the day on how to write your own musical. How many of you like to just do music for fun? Think for yourself. Awesome. Great. And they were put into teams and taught kind of how to take some material, right. how to break right. it down, how to make it approachable. You want to think about what does the show sound like? And he actually charged them with coming up with a couple songs and a script by the end of the day. We decided we wanted to have three girls. Well, what's the name of your show? Alva. Please join me in welcoming Tiffany Haas to the podium. Yes, our keynote speaker this year is Tiffany Haas. Welcome. And we had Tiffany Haas out here about 10 years ago. There's a somebody I'm longing to see. I hope that he turns out to be someone to watch over me. She was in the touring and on Broadway productions of Wicked. She played Glenda. And it was really nice to have someone that has been performing at that level on Broadway to kind of validate what we've been saying all along to the students. Thank you so much, Stephanie, for having me back. But now I'm going to make it real with y'all and tell y'all the truth about my journey. She was really cool, like hearing her story and like he was so inspirational. So yes, I was very, very grateful to have had the opportunity to play the role of a lifetime and I had a dream of performing on Broadway and um, I achieved that goal. But I had 72 no's before my first yes. She was like rejected 72 times before she like finally got like a, this amazing part. So that means 72 times of preparing for an audition, getting myself all dolled up, walking into the room and being cut off in the middle of my song by thank you. That's all we need to see today. I think, I think a lot of what she, she covered was that this industry is hard, it's full of rejections, but you do it because you love it. And at the end of the day, you have to push through because you do love it and you know that you're never gonna give up. There is a payoff in the future for what y'all do today. And you've got to be willing to pay the price. Please remember that anything worth having is worth working for. And I wish y'all the best, and I hope that y'all have a great, awesome day today. Thank you so much. So it does take time, effort, hitting the pavement, all those auditions. It's worth it when you get there, but it's hard work. I mean, the reality is you've got to put the time into it. And I think having the outside professionals and industry specialists come in and, and say to the kids, yes, that's what it takes. And your passion, you need the passion, but you need the work. And there's very few, you know, star stories where you're just discovered off the street and you make it. That happens. But for the 99.9% .9 of us left, we've got to put the time and the hard work in.